Um, today um, we're gonna do a tutorial on how to use Git and GitHub to create a new repository. We will um, do a quick review of the command prompt um, use and the most uh, common commands that we're gonna be needing. Um, we're gonna install Git, then we're gonna create uh, a repository in GitHub and after creating the repository in GitHub we are going to connect um, that repository with our local machine uh, we're going to be able to update our documents and upload them um, to the to the cloud if you don't have git installed yet um, f uh, go to this uh, website git dash scm.com and download git for uh, your specific platform uh, i'm going to be doing this on windows um, so just download um, the link here and install the application like a normal application follow the steps once the application has been installed um, you can check that the git um, software has been installed properly in your machine um, by going to an application called git bash you're gonna search for git bash and this new command line uh, should be available for you an alternative is using the command prompt uh, cmd for windows uh, in case you're a mac user or, or a Linux user, um, it, it's called a terminal, and, and um, you can you can find it in, in a different location. Um, and we can uh, check that Git has been installed correctly by running the command git version, and this will give us um, the Git version that we currently have installed. The first, if you already have Git installed, uh, probably we have to update or upgrade um, the software. We're gonna run this command. We're gonna say yes. This will automatically upgrade and update. My version was uh, outdated, so the software is going to remove the previous version of Git. I was going to install the new version of Git. Once this is finished, I should be able to do Git version again. And we can see that Git has been upgraded to version 2.39. Perfect. Now that we have um, a Git software installed in our machines, we can proceed with the tutorial to create a new repository. To create a new repository, we have to navigate um, to our GitHub account. Okay, I'm just gonna navigate to GitHub. Once we are in GitHub, we're going to click here on New Repository. Good. Once we've created a new repository, we uh, are going to use this naming methodology where it's year, month, and then day. And then the name of the repository that you want. I'm going to be creating a React project, so I'm going to call it React. I'm going to add a description to the Git repository. A quick description is going to be a React project that I'm going to create. I'm going to choose uh, the availability of my code if it's going to be public or it's going to be private. In my case, it's going to be private. I'm not going to add a readme file as I'm going to add this file locally from my machine. But if you want to add a readme file, you just have to select this. Um, button and it will add automatically a readme file and you can later update now all we have to do 
is check the licenses what type of licensing you want to do um, you want to uh, provide with your code there are many types of licenses so familiarize please with the type of licenses that there exists for example MIT license allows everybody to make their code um, free uh, and you commercially use it later on all we're gonna do now is create a repository perfect once the repository has been created you have been given this link to connect to the first thing that we have to do is we have to initialize a git repository local to do that we have to create a directory somewhere in your local machine in my case I've created the directory or folder under user user documents git and I've used the same name as a previous folder all I have to do now is follow the instructions that they have given me here first of all they create a file using the echo command and then passing it to the file inside then they initialize the git they add that readme file to the repository they commit they change branch they remote and connect that git repository with is it with with the one that we just created and then it gets pushed we're gonna follow the exact um, methodology that they have provided us so all we're gonna do is we're gonna follow those commands inside the folder that we have created we first create a read me md file we're gonna check what if the if the document was created with the command directory this is gonna list me all the directories and files underneath and we can see the readme file has been created has been created with the exact same date and the exact same time to navigate in our directories in our command line we just have to use the cd dot dot command to go back on the directories outside of the folder and inside of the folder by running the cd command and providing the name of the folder where we're going to navigate then we can see the directories that are available in that folder with the command there in order to create a new directory just follow the mk directory command and the name of the folder okay in my case i'm going to name this folder new folder however i'm not going to do it because i don't want to create that new folder after you click enter this is going to create a new directory called new folder now that we are familiar with how to navigate in our command line we're going to uh, follow up and now create the new initialize the git repository initialize the git repository we get in it and once we hit directory you it, it does not show here the hidden folder that has been created however if we go to git and we go to the folder we have created that we can see that there is a hidden folder has been created there called dot git this folder is the one that allows us to connect to our repository to our land repository if this folder gets eliminated or deleted or, or corrupted then you are not going to be able to connect to the server and synchronize your files Now what we're going to do is we're going to add this repository to the um, this file to the repository. First we're going to check our status of our git with the command git status. All this do does is allows us to check the status of our um, of our current repository. It tells us that there is an untracked file called readme file that is the file that we have uh, created it's an empty it's an empty file however if we do git add me or git add then period this means they're gonna add all the files inside that folder 
the previous command is just going to add the readme file. In this case, both of them will do the same. Once we do that and we hit hit status, we can see that the, there is a new file that has been identified and has been cached to be um, to be committed. Is no longer red. It now shows as a green. Now we have to create the commit. In the commit, we add git commit that is commit the new changes that we're gonna uh, um, add to our repository, and we add a message. All right, this is very important. Adding a message every time you do a commit because it allows us to keep track of the changes that we have made to our project. We're going to call this our first commit. And we're going to hit enter. It tells us that the files have been committed. Now if we go git status, we're going to see that nothing is yet to be committed and no file is now shown. However, if we notice, we are on the branch master. We have to change this branch to the branch main to be able to synchronize in both our um, both our online repository and our local repository. To switch branch, all you have to do is git branch and switch to the branch that you want to go. In this case, it's going to be main. Once we do hit status. It can be noted that we are on a different branch now. It does no longer say master, it says main. Before we can upload all our changes, what we need to do is we need to connect to that repository that we have created in the GitHub website. To do that, we have to do git remote add and the origin of the website. As you can see, we provide the link or to, 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 to the website where the repository is being stored. Now we see that it has been linked. Now we can push our documents and then see if the file readme file has been uploaded. We're gonna copy the git push. This command is gonna upload all the files that have been committed. So far it's gonna upload only the readme file. And we're gonna click enter. The reason we have got this um, error is because we have not connected or authenticated our github account with our local github. We have to authenticate that first. To connect to that repository we gotta go to our original uh, github account and we're gonna create a new token. To create a new token navigate here next to your avatar. We're gonna go to settings. In settings, we're going to scroll down and to the left, we're going to click on developer settings. We're going to click here on personal access tokens, tokens classics. We're going to generate a new token. Just hit your password and create a new token. You can add note here, this token. We're going to click uh, whatever expiration date that we want, 7 days, 30 days, 60 days, no expiration at all. And we're going to set the scopes of our security or what we can do with this token. We're going to generate full control of our private repositories.
full control of public keys and we're gonna select so you have many options here that you can use that will allow you to control your repositories from your local machine for now I'm just gonna hit the repo once this is finished just hit generate token and this will give you a token that we're later gonna be using I'm gonna try to add the origin using the username and my password that I've created from the token once my repository has been added I just have to push the files made a mistake on the command Now we can see that the files have been uploaded. If I update, I can see that the README file has been uploaded now.